Oh, that was lucky. I got two pieces of southern fried left and I nearly forgot to vlog it. I've been that busy, see, filming stuff this week. The two cameras. Uh, the, the battery on this is low. The battery on that's low. <laughs> God. So i got some charging to do in a minute. But I haven't forgot. Hot and spicy. 16 billion Scovilles, that is. Southern fried. Dippity dip. And let it touch the lip. What the hell was that? Something moved on the desk then. Yeah, that freaked me out. Do it again. Ooh, on the other hand, don't. Right. Carlin. Wash down. Happy Easter to you. Happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. Happy Easter. Hope you're having a good weekend. In the United Kingdom, it means it's a bank holiday weekend. Friday and Monday off. For most people, not everybody. Military, medical, hotels, holidays, shops, garages and all that sort of stuff. They work. As do we on a Saturday. So you mustn't forget people are like that. Keep the country going. But I hope everybody has a good weekend. Um, liver and onions video seemed to go down well. Wasn't sure whether to do it. What's the reason for that? Well, <laughs> liver um, is part of the offal of the animal. Um, not the nicest of sights when it's raw. So. These days you can get a bit of backlash from it, you know, but uh, I was going to put a bit of a warning on it, you know, contains raw meat or blood or whatever. But um, people have got common sense. If you don't like the look of liver or eat it, or you, know, you wouldn't watch it. Um, as people don't, you know, that don't like it, they say, oh no, I don't like it, so I don't watch it. But you get the odd ones that don't like it, can't bear it, watch it, and then whinge. <laughs> but nothing so far. Um, just a normal thumbs down, but that's on every video, so you you can't tell if those dislikes are for liver, because I get so many of them anyway. So anyway, it doesn't matter. It's there. It's gone down very well. A lot of people seem to like it and going to try it and. A lot of people said that, you know, they, they've done it and their parents and grandparents did the same. Roughly the same way. But, uh, well, it's a good meal. A cheap meal to make. Easy. And um, I had the second lot today. Oh, fantastic it was. Because uh, always a second day is always better with any food, I find. Oh, the taste is unbelievable. And it's good. It's full of iron, you know. Um, it was a regular meal once. There's another meal. I'm glad years ago, because, you know, I enjoy a bit of cooking. I'm not saying I'm good at it, but I, I can cook any meal I want in a basic way. Nothing fancy, but uh, when I was younger, I made a point of asking my grandmother, you know, how do you cook it, and what do you use, and how do, what's the method, and and I watched it a lot of times, and that's how I know these sort of recipes and meals, you know, because if I hadn't have done that, it would have gone to her grave with her, and it's a sad thing, because it's generations of cooking gone. Um, you know, it's a, oh, it's, a, it's a crime, really. And she, you know, she never wrote it down anywhere. It's all in here. It, well, it's the same for me, really. I should write them down, really. But well, I've made the videos, you know, so that's a form of logging it. Um, another one she used to make was a thing called lobscouse, which is a, a stew, basically. And she used to use a lamb, the scrag end of lamb, it was called, and it was the cheapest 
well, bones really, with a bit of meat, the eye of eye of meat on them. Taste, bloody, that's always the best tasting. Uh, like the cheapest part of a lamb, like the breast of lamb. You cook that, you roast that, you can debone it, you can stuff it, roll it. It's one of the best roast lamb tastes you can ever have. The cheapest bits have always got the fullest flavour. And uh, she used to use the scrag end of lamb. The butcher used to chop it for, you know, the, the, the rack of bones. And then she used to chuck them in, put the potatoes and all the gubbins. And really cook it slow for hours. And it the potatoes used to start to go with the water slightly, which thickened the, the juice. And the lamb would come off the bone. You'd pick the bone up and it would just be nothing on it, clean as a whistle. Fantastic, it was tender. I might do a video on that one day. Lobscouse, but uh, you know, little things like that. I love old ways and uh, and you feel proud, you know, to, to carry them on in a way. And as I say, family or whatever can look at these videos if they want to look out to how they did it. Another thing I found out was um, my great grandmother um, before fridges you know well there was fridges I think but they were probably so expensive then that the normal household people didn't have them you know only the sort of big I don't know restaurants or whatever hotels but um, you see what it was my one of my uncles used to my grandmother's brother he always had a bowl in the cupboard and you could smell this vinegar and I used to say what's that and he used to put onions just normal onion chop it up into rings like into and uh, he'd put two or three onions in this big bowl and he'd slice about two cucumbers put them in and there was something else he'd put one or two black peppercorns whole and he'd smother it in vinegar, two bottles of vinegar, and leave it there. And that was a salad. So when he wanted, he'd take, uh, he used to turn, because it was malt vinegar, it all used to turn black. It looked horrible. But the taste, so he used to get some onion and cucumber out of it on a plate. He'd put a bit of lettuce there, cress or whatever. And uh, he might put, you know, cooked meat, boiled ham. Uh, a few tomatoes, stuff like that, and there was like a salad, an old-fashioned salad, and my, perhaps a bit of cheese. But the main reason, uh, well, it was pickling, you know, in a way. But it was he said it was to because you today you can stick your cucumbers and all that, you can stick them in the fridge, you know, slice them whatever. But then he said he used to slice them and pickle them in the vinegar partly for the taste and you know pickling but the other half of it the reason was there's no fridges so it kept better and you know fantastic the little thing like that taste I can smell it now the same smell when you went in the kitchen and the old red quarry tiled floors and the cooker in the beginning actually when I was a young lad black bloody big thing with a fire in it and the oven one side and the fire the <laughs> and she used to black lead it my auntie and another thing I don't know why they used to then everybody polished their front step the front doorstep bloody their red lead in it or black or whatever you had red she had red lead in once a week blip, blip, blip. and polished to the all the brasses, the letterbox, the key thing, brassel, polished, you could see a face in it. Very proud people. Bloody hell, I red lead in the front doorstep. Everybody did their doorsteps for some <laughs> the step, and, you know, because they had to look. Fantastic. And yeah, I'm going, bloody hell, battery's going, you're getting bored. Thanks for watching, have a great Easter. And I may see you tomorrow in one or another video, I don't know. 
see how it goes and um, have a good weekend. Take care, see ya.